everybody! This is Root the Bat speaking with the first official episode of our spin-off series, Ask the Sonic Heroes Chaos Chord! We barely know what we're doing because we haven't done it before, so bear with us if anything explodes. It's probably not going to be my fault because we have half heroes here and half villains. We can probably blame some of the villains, um, which include today Eggman, uh, Metal Sonic, and Infinite. Hello. I, I can't hear you. Eggman. Can, can you can you turn up your mic? You turn your 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 things on deaf, and you have to turn on your own sound. I don't know how to work with this. How are you hearing each other if he's deafened? Eggman, are you pranking me? <laughs> we just got stuck. <laughs> Shut up! You're making yes. me look bad. All right, all right. The ultimate prank. Good job, father. Thank you, man. I am never inviting these idiots anywhere again. Okay, but you know who else I am? That's a lie. Sonic, Tails, and Espio. Hi, guys. Hello! Uh, classic Eggman. So, uh, we've got a looser format for um, our questions today. I've got a bunch of boxes for everybody. I'm going to do a random number generator uh, for each of you guys, and that'll determine like which one of your guys' questions come up, and I'll just be bouncing between boxes. Uh, let's go ahead and just get ourselves started. Sonic, are you ready to go? I'm always ready to go. Let's do this. From Red Voltaic to Sonic, do you ever wonder how you ended up in these situations since you were minding your own business in Sonic 1 when Eggman ruined the Green Hill? Not really, to be fair. In a lot of cases, I insert myself into the situation. Sure, I was minding my own business in Sonic 1. But I, I ran into a moto bug, started investigating, seeing what's up. It's not like Eggman just came on in out of nowhere and smacked me with that first boss battle thing. Whatever. What the heck was that thing, Eggman? The pendulum looking oh, ball thing? Oh, I remember it very, very well. It was around the time when I was like hitting you repeatedly with that wrecking ball that I made. Out of like Only one the of one the time. Uh, Only the one time. One of the Didn't rocks from others. Green Hill. Oh, it was oh, it was amazing. I even had it recorded before. I could just play it for hours. You what? <laughs> <laughs> I have watched it over one thousand times. It is quite entertaining. Yeah, but no. I I mostly insert myself. So I don't really wonder. I, I instigate a lot of it. I need an adventure. What else am I going to do? It's not going to just come to me if I sit around. Got to go out there and get it yourself. Two Tails from Nintendo Brother 4783. Tails, uh, if and when the crazy adventures finally stopped, do you think you'd settle down with Cosmo? I think... I think... Next question! <laughs> oh, come on, buddy. Come on. No! I yes, don't like Boxing, like, answer the question. <laughs> Maybe? Okay, fine. Bye. Bye. All right, we're done. No, I gave you a word. I gave you an answer. No, Tails, come back here. Don't log out right away. <laughs> don't you dare log out or I will nuke your house. What? Okay, hey, no, man. you're not doing that. I don't want to step on any toes. Toes? You mean roots? <laughs> Get out! <laughs> Get out! It was a pretty smart joke. It was a pretty smart joke. Espio, whose side are you yes. on? From Brawler to Espio, how come you and Charmy weren't in Team Sonic Racing? While Vector was in the middle of the events of Team Sonic Racing, me and Charmy were both off on a mission. Something that needed um, a little bit more stealth. Something that it's a little bit difficult to do when Vector's around. He's quite large, a little difficult to stealth around. We're not always together 24-7. Sometimes we have different shifts. Translation, Espio doesn't have a driver's license. I mean, I don't, but... I mean, that's besides the point. It's a car. It's not a car. I mean, they are cars, right? I'm pretty sure they're, like, modified carts, right? Uh, yes. They're modified by the power of love or whatever it was. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I gathered! It was from that filthy raccoon creature. <laughs> he said it was, like, from the team. It was powered by the team, like, the spirit of teamwork or whatever. I didn't pay attention. I just thought it was a really dumb concept. <laughs> Where does it come from? How does it feel? Is it from, like, emotion? Yes. Emotions are weakness. It can never be a fuel source. See? Like you have, you gotta have at least like some kind of like chemical matter or something to even get it started. Not like by saying, "Hey, I love you," and then it just starts <laughs> running. <laughs>
To Eggman from Thomas Former Wars 101, first of all, I'm a very big fan of you. Long live the Eggman Empire. My question to you is <laughs> My question man. to you is when you, one day you do rule the world and destroy Sonic, what will you do next? I think after I finally kill Sonic being on the top priority, then rule the world, I would probably say Can we go to Disneyland? Go on a family vacation with Metal and Maria and Sage as well. And then after that, uh, I build like a I sp I build a space station, fly off Earth, and then just go conquer the multiverse. What else? Get really bored without me around. Uh, obviously, I will be very very lonely without you. You fulfill my life and don't make me want to strangle you and bury you into a grave. Ah, Knuckles, your Wi-Fi's finally working, huh? Yes. I'm gonna uh, backtrack to Nux since he just got here and we had to skip him. Um, Knuckles, are you ready to go? I'm ready. To Knuckles from Aquasonic the Hedgehog 9935. We know you like watching movies and TV shows while on the island, but have you ever tried games? Other than Among Us on the Ark, I don't remember anything else being mentioned. If you are interested or have already started, what games are they? I've tried my hand at uh, some fighting games lately. Things like uh, Chow Fighter and uh, what was that other game? Uh, I was playing with Sonic the other day. Uh, so we had we had Chow Fighter, and then I think there was um... Chow Ken. Chow Ken combat. combat. My favorite part is when the Chow just screams, "Get over here!" and he just rips his head off. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Wait, you can do. Wait, you can do that? that the yeah, you can. It's in the uncensored version. Is it uncensored for? When did yes, there I is. Think, I think you have to press a sequence of buttons. Like Tell me. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, or something a, like B, that. A B start. From Gina Davis, 3018, to Metal Sonic, the best Sonic. What do you think of Orbot? And Metal Sonic, yeet Sonic out the window. I will do that the next time I see him. You just give it a try. You ain't even gonna get, you're never gonna get the chance. Why is the chat choosing violence? Yeah, you better close your window. To say what I think about Orbot, he is a buffoon. I do not know why father keeps him around. I don't know why either. His voice chip issues were very annoying. The cowboy one was the worst. Metal Sonic. You can't even get their names straight. That one's Cubot. Orbot's the sassy one, Cubot's the dumb one with the big mouth. That is fair, however, they are not worth remembering who is who in the first place. Ouch. What do you think I made Sage? Father, do you like me more than Sage? I like both of you equally, but you have a very specific reason of why I always have you around 24-7. So you're number two. That is not... What I mean by that. I am superior. I keep you around more than I do with infinite. I was used. <laughs> <laughs> hey, infinite, uh, time for your question. <laughs> hey! Listen, 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 if you didn't like me, you wouldn't model Sage after me. Too infinite from Asteria for you gotcha YT. They said, first of all, hi, I'm a huge fan. I love you, Mask Boy. Second of all, have you ever tried trapping Maria into your phantom reality and using her against Shadow? Okay, well, what? first of all, hi, hello, how are you? Second of all, I've actually already done that. If you've ever seen Among Us on the Ark, that's basically it. Just look at how much violence Maria has done to Shadow and the rest of the gang. Oh, and you didn't tell me? Aren't you busy? You've been there a few times. You were invited. I Most of the time you like, were like, I mean, no, I'm going to me, Costco. Like, I can't go. I can't join. On my fridge and be like, it was in a sticky note with a beautiful giraffe next to it, and you still refused to read <laughs> it. I didn't notice it. How could you not notice it? It had a big lettering saying like, Dear Mr. Eggman, you are cordially invited to join us Somebody for Among Us in the Ark. I really need to find someone who's in my base. I bet he was blue. 
Group question to everyone from Owo. If you were each in a horror movie, just going by your survival skills, who would be the most and least likely to survive? Sonic would be the least likely to survive. Uh, a bit of self-projection there, Eggman. <laughs> you know what? We have a lot of competent people here. This is actually kind of difficult. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot to consider, too, like the type of horror movie. Uh, let's say like zombies. Is it zombie film? attack. Is it, uh, Horde of zombies. zombies. Okay. I would just stay on my island. Hmm. Is it like sci-fi related? <laughs> sci-fi zombies. Sci-fi, sci-fi zombies. zombies. Sci-fi zombies. <laughs> The zombies have lasers. Knuckles definitely does sound like the most likely just because of location. Floating islands kind of difficult to get to. Exactly. It's so true. I'd be completely safe all the time. Yes, but the zombies can walk underwater and get to the but island. But they can't fly. But they can't fly. <laughs> well, if they're sci-fi zombies, maybe. Well, no, just- Wait, they're just- what about bird the zombies? zombies? Have you ever seen World War Z? Bird zombies? I think you guys are- I would be the most likely to survive because- they do not want metal flesh. They want your flesh. There's, I'm, I'm pretty sure there are robot zombies too. They could exist. I think Infinite would have to hide in his like pocket dimension. Well, that's easy. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be the I most mean, likely to survive. I would be able to, to get to me because I'll always be on my hovercraft, like above the sky, 24/7. I, got, I like, will all throw of the, the zombies at you. So I could be. So I won't be bored. Don't you run out of fuel at one point? That's not gonna last forever. I have forever. a backup fuel of a backup fuel of a backup fuel. Do not test me. Yeah, but what if you need to use the bathroom? Oh no! Maybe I'd probably go down trying to save somebody if I were to go down. Whether or not you save people or not, you still dying would always bring a smile to my face. So. You three apparently have a, an escape plan since neither of us heroes are going to survive, right? Well, I can fly, so... So can I... Well, I can glide. You cannot fly! <laughs> I can <laughs> glide! <laughs> uh, but there's one thing we have forgotten to consider. What? The chaos emeralds. Well, what if you can't find them? I think there's zombie chaos emeralds, too. Oh, that God! <laughs> and now <laughs> yeah, you so are, and now zombies you've lost go me. super... <laughs> No. The zombies can go okay, super. This is just some really weird fan. Beat you guys up. Yeah, this is a really weird silly. AU, you guys. <laughs> Somebody yeah, really write is. it. Somebody write it. To Sonic from Lunar Wolf 57272. Um, how did you and Mario get the idea for you two and your friends and enemies to join the Olympics? And whose idea was it? Yours or Mario's? That was Mario's idea. He was the one who came to me about that. Really? So, uh,. Yeah, yeah, back in 2008, uh, well, 2007, sometime for, uh, preparations, actually, uh, he came to talk to me, and we had a discussion. It was brought up, we decided who was gonna develop it, and whatnot, we brought the idea down to, uh, our parent companies. You know, uh, so Mario pitched the idea, it was a lot of fun. Um, I was surprised. We, sure, we were huge Frenemies. rivals for a long time, and pretty bitter at each other for a good bit, but, hey, once it came down to, uh, About 2001, Game Boy era, Game Boy Advance, you know, we had some talks, we kind of talked it out and got kind of friendly from there. Started talking more, realized, hey, this is actually a pretty cool dude. Two Tails from Dragul the Spawn 7412. Tails, what do you think about Nine from Sonic Prime? Let me look, like, let me look at a picture. Tails hasn't actually seen the show. Um, he's more of a podcast kid than a watch. Show yeah, I mean, working, I so, listen. Um, I gotta use my eyes for my work, okay? I can't look at things. I'm too busy. He's been bullied to the point where he's been turned into that one Spider-Man villain. Oh my God, he is! <laughs> Straight up, that's freaking. I'm Doctor Octagonopus. Octagonagonopus from the old YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Tails turned into an edgy boy over here. Yeah, you're pretty edgy. What are you gonna listen to, Linkin Park? Crawling in my skin! In my skin! <laughs> <laughs> well, um, Tails is gonna have to, like, actually watch this. That'll stop! <laughs> Tails, uh, we'll have to, have, like, seriously, we're all gonna have to have, like, a marathon so that everybody's up to speed on Prime, but as someone who's seen most of Prime, um, Nine's actually pretty cool. I think you'll enjoy, uh, what, like, his character arc stuff from the show, Tails, but, uh, you've gotta, like, actually watch it first. Yeah, I gotta get to, yeah, I gotta get not busy first. <laughs> Knuckles from Galaxy Comets, do you have any recollection of your parents, family, anything of the sort? If so, what were they like? Sorry if this got too personal. I remember... I I 
actually don't. It's been a long time, and honestly, the only part of my past that I remember is all tied to the Master Emerald. I don't think I remember too much about anything else. The Chaotix Detective Agency can look into it and see what they can find, but can't make any promises. Uh, it's okay, Knuckles. You have a found family now. Complete with an annoying younger brother. Which Tails? One? Tails? What? Wait a minute! <laughs> Which one? Which one? And Tails. Oh, what? Oh, both of you. Ah. Both of you guys. Ah, for context, yes, Sonic. You are the annoying younger brother. <laughs> if I didn't actually know his age, I'd figure Tails was older. Ha-ha! <laughs> Love you too, Knuckles. Espio from Red's Hub. So, we know you're a ninja, but as a kid, did you ever want to be anything else besides a crime fighter? Well, there's some misconceptions there. Being a ninja doesn't make you a crime fighter. A ninja is typically something more akin to an assassin. You, say, you could say that anything hero-wise would be more so part of what came along in the middle of that. Realizing you don't like something and moving on to something else. The detective part really was just a effective way to use my skills in a profession where I could get paid. But helping people along the way felt good. Made me come back for more. Alright, so guys, this next question isn't like to Eggman, but it's about Eggman. So, from Skylar G6449, everyone, what is your favorite thing about Dr. Eggman? How much you can tease him. Did you say how much he can season? <laughs> no! <laughs> Infinite, you did not have lunch today, did you? <laughs> Someone's I'm a little hungry! Bit hungry. He, say? he said I think tease. that helmet's getting a little too tight for you right now. <laughs> bit of salt, bit of pepper. Ooh, what could be the best seasoning? A little bit of cayenne. Wow! My favorite thing is how he kicked down our door and didn't pay for repairs. <laughs> That's your favorite? No, it's not. I have nothing I like. But you have to pick something. Uh, my favorite thing about Eggman is when he goes away. Insane. Sorry, I don't want to take mine back. I don't want to take that back either. That was mine. You took it from me. We could share answers. <laughs> Infinite give I, Big Man a compliment. I have not seen or heard a single shower. <laughs> that's not I a compliment, Infinite. Oh, oh, if that's how you're going to be, where are your clothes? Mmm, gloves, mask is shoes, for. a freaking mask. Okay. My favorite thing about Eggman is that he gave me the ruby and betrayed me and didn't really take it back. When did I betray you? You threw me away. You made or you Metal just ran Sonic off punch with me. the ruby yourself. Yeah, you didn't take I it back. I ended up using it just to kill Sonic. My favorite thing about Father is the purpose he has given to me to destroy Sonic. It fills me with the ultimate joy. It didn't give you the tools to achieve it, though. And this one is an actual question for Eggman. To Eggman from James Borean, uh, 2850. To Eggman, do you like green eggs and ham? Yep, I'm <laughs> I, I, I mean, it's a weird color choice, but yeah, you know, I like eggs. Ham's, ham is okay if it's evil, so... Evil ham? <laughs> what makes ham evil? Yeah, I went there. That ham must be steamed. Oh, yes, Knuckles. They're the patented Eggman burgers, an old family recipe. You make burger with ham? It is called a pork burger. Oh, Metal Sonic, welcome. I hope you're prepared for an unforgettable lunching. Uh -huh. From Dr. Fine VA to Metal Sonic and Infinite, if you are, if you were to list your top three favorite movies, if you have any, what would they be? And they had a quick message. P.S. Hi, Metal. I'm a huge fan since like 2007 when I first got into Sonic. I adore you. And I have some small merch, either fan made ones, and I even made my own acrylic stand of you. Since you were my first and forever will be my number one favorite. And Infinite. Hi, you're my second favorite. I think you're pretty cool. And I'm planning to make an acrylic stand of you next. That's all. I'm number two. My favorite movies are Alien, Predator, and It. I thought you were gonna say Alien vs. Predator for the third one. I thought he was just gonna say Alien 1, 2, and 3. That was the secret fourth. Wait, no, wait. Isn't Alien 3 the one that's bad? What are your favorite movies, Infinite? Oh, oh, right. Um, okay. Uh, my favorite movies are... Uh, Spirit. It's <gasps> about a horse. I love that movie! <laughs> 
How about, uh, <laughs> all right, so Spirit, how about the other two? Uh, the other two are Home Alone 1 and Home Alone 2. Aren't you a fan of the Land Before Time movies? I used to be, and then they kept making more. Oh, oh, it soured it, didn't it? Yes. Okay, this one is for Infinite from TechRex148 to Infinite. Have you tried to use the Chaos Emeralds to go super? And if you, because if you did, you'd be unstoppable. Uh, yeah, why didn't you use them? Because you gave me a ruby. If we had the emeralds, you could have just combined it with the ruby and you'll be like, you'll destroy everything. Yeah, but man. we didn't have the emeralds now, did we? I don't think anybody has No, them. and I wonder who to blame, Sega? I thought you were gonna say Sonic, but like, no, <laughs> Sega. <laughs> I think it's almost time for us to head out to our respective Halloween parties, so we better wrap up with a Halloween question. To everyone from Cool Dude 7413 to everyone, what would be the strangest costume you would make each other wear for Halloween? Eggman, you should dress up as Grimace from McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> you can give out shake samples. Actually, that wouldn't be a bad idea. <laughs> and just get Infinite to dress up as the patty thief. <laughs> the patty thief! Did you not know it's what the, the Hamburglar's name is? Do I look like I go to McDonald's? <laughs> hey guys, I got a good costume. Sonic, dress up as a cactus. Wow! A cactus? I mean, hey, spikes kind of work. Tails, try... Um, who's yellow? <laughs> who's Spongebob? yellow? Spongebob! What if he's Pac-Man? I mean, he's yellow and he's round. What about Q-Bot? No! He's yellow. Oh, I mean, you're definitely annoying, so... That Whoa! Okay, okay! <laughs> Actually, Pac-Man kind of sounds kind of good. <laughs> <laughs> I think you could make that work. Like <laughs> the, little, yeah! Like, Pac-Man mech. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. How about Infinite Guys? What should he dress up as? A Christmas tree. A tree? <laughs> For Halloween? Yes! A mistletoe, so we can go right are, up to you Shadow. You are a part of the problem a Girl Scout. that's been going on since a Girl Scout. Of time. <laughs> like having like Christmas decorations and all that into like Walmart when it was October. Okay, I'll dress up as Walmart then. The whole of Walmart. <laughs> the, the whole building. building? I will be Walmart. <laughs> the whole building. <laughs> all right, let's take it. Um, uh, how about Knuckles? What's Knuckles gonna be for Halloween? I'm going to propose Knuckles dresses up as Big Boss. <laughs> Big Metal Gear boss. Solid series. Oh, from Metal Gear? Hold on. Hold, 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 hold on. Let me look at this. This is just some normal dude with an eye patch. It's just oh, some guy with an eye patch, yeah. Guy. You <laughs> know? I've never That's actually a... tried wearing an eye patch. This might. And it's supposed to be a strange hmm. costume. Big Boss is too cool. Strange. But I like cool. A tomato. A Wait, tomato. Ketchup bottle. Ketchup bottle. Christ, ketchup bottle. Ketchup. Let's go. How about for Espio, you guys? What's Espio? Um, I was thinking of a. Tube of toothpaste. The tube of toothpaste. Yes, because like his tail rolls up. Like, okay, like... is it is it empty or full? Well, no, it, almost it's empty, empty because he's rolling his oh. tail. Yeah, I get it. That's and cool. then his horn could be the cat. That's actually a genius idea. I'm dressing up as a desktop computer. Oh, perfect. Oh, that's actually pretty good. All right, so it sounds like we've got some costume ideas for basically everybody, but uh, it looks like we're going to be late for our respective Halloween parties if yeah. we don't get going right now, especially uh, Eggman, I guess, has a robot party that he needs to get to. Yeah, so. you're going to make me miss all the treats, you animals. I need to get Scratch and Grounder to the trick-or-treat. Uh, well, I guess, I guess that wraps up our first, um, attempt at doing our Chaos Chord spin-off. This has been Rouge the Bat, your beautiful host. Thank you, gentlemen, for joining, and everybody, have a happy and safe Halloween. Take care. Catch you later. Happy Bye. Halloween, everybody. Bye. Until next time. You will all perish in the next 30 minutes. Ooh. Get out of my lawn!